Stack Overflow has just signed a deal with OpenAI to provide them with their data to get included in OpenAI's models. This is really interesting to me because there was a ton of drama earlier this year. Essentially, Stack Overflow, their their like their company valuation tanked. Their I think their the big thing that tanked was the usage metric, so you can track like web traffic for sites. And Stack Overflow took a massive hit. It's a it's a developer website where you can upload different comments and questions about code, and people are you know responding. And it took a massive hit because ChatGPT essentially could summarize an entire thread and just give you the bit of code you need. You don't need to go read through the whole thread. And it was, I don't know why, but it was just an area that very quickly got cannibalized, a site that saw, I think, like a 30% decrease in web traffic like the month following ChatGPT coming out. Because of this, Stack Overflow, uh, you know, shut down access to their site. They made it really hard, told everyone, you're not allowed to scrape our site for data because I think what actually happened was OpenAI scraped their whole site and included it in their models to, you know, get data. Now. I think because of this, Stack Overflow has went through like a bunch of different challenges. Um, and it, it, I think it kind of felt bad probably for OpenAI to feel like, look, we like scraped their whole site, took all their data, and now their company is literally suffering because of it. I don't know if they're kind or they want to look good in the public eye or what the what the optics are, or maybe they really just want the data, but they've now signed a deal where the Stack Overflow and all of their you know developer software and tools are going to be, and content is gonna be embedded in the next version that ChatGPT is training. So you could argue like, oh, but didn't they already grab it? I think you like one use is like, there's a bunch of new data. So maybe the new data is valuable. Again, maybe they wanna just say like, look, we're licensing it so they don't get sued by Stack Overflow or another company. And the big idea here though, is that with Stack Overflow really being added in, it's interesting, Stack Overflow, when this whole thing first happened, they actually banned people from using ChatGPT responses on their platform because they're worried it was going to make spammy like responses. So you couldn't use ChatGPT to answer questions on Stack Overflow. But they, I think they began experimenting with a bunch of different generative AI features last April. Um, they said that they were going to build a model that rewards developers who can contribute knowledge to the platform. So they're trying to come up with some sort of monetization, right? They didn't want to be the person where they just scraped everyone's data and, and made money off of it, I think necessarily. So in July, they actually launched a conversational search tool that let users, you could ask questions, you got answers, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think they have like a data set right now, their database on Stack Overflow is over 58 million questions and answers. So this is obviously a huge, a huge data set that is very useful. So I think that the developers kind of rebelled against some of the changes allegedly. Um, they were saying that some of the information wasn't perfect and all this different stuff. And also they said that the data privacy for individual contributors on the platform, there was issues there. I think there was some basis for those concerns. There was an analyst done with, uh, that analyzed, I think 150 million lines of code, which were committed to project repos over the last several years by GitClear. And they actually did find that when it comes to like generative AI and, and developer tools and all that kind of stuff, they resulted in more mistaken code, which was pushed to code bases. So I think some security researchers also kind of weighed in on this and they warned that using those types of tools could, if you have like a bug or a security issue in a software product and it gets like sucked into one of these AI models, now all of a sudden it's getting amplified. So there, people have all the sorts of concerns. At the end of the day, this is an amazing tool that's really valuable for coding and developers. And so I think this is gonna get rolled out. So. Uh, Stack Overflow is using, doing some of their own things. And I think inevitably they realize like you got to kind of go where this stuff is popular, where the users are, and that is ChatGPT. So they're, they've now made this deal with OpenAI. They haven't disclosed like the, the actual financial terms, but all of this is coming after Stack Overflow also partnered with Google to help Google's Gemini model. It feels like all these Q&A sites are turning into essentially data sites. So you, you even see like Cora, who's very closely integrated with OpenAI and their CEO is on the board of directors for OpenAI. So like, it seems like a lot of these data sets are very valuable, but they want to be very integrated with these AI models because really these AI models can cannibalize or kill them in the same way that they're kind of cannibalizing, killing Google search or, or search is being very disrupted. So Prashnev Kadeshkar, who's the CEO of Stack Overflow, previously said that 10% of the platform's nearly 600 staff was focusing on its AI strategy. And he also described a bunch of different avenues and ways that they're gonna make money pretty much from making sure that Stack Overflow can keep the best quality information. Like this is really 
this is the value of the company up until this point was like they had the best responses. And so if they can keep the best quality responses better than anywhere else, better than whatever you get from necessarily chat GPT, like they'll be viable if at least as a data set on chat GPT. So he also said in a recent press release, Stack Overflow is the world's largest developer community through our industry leading partnership with OpenAI. We strive to redefine the developer experience, fostering efficiency and collaboration through the power of community, best in class data and AI experiences. Our goal with OpenFlow API, so this is what essentially they're allowing OpenAI to use is their API, and our work to advance the era of socially responsible AI is to set new standards with vetted, trusted, and accurate data that will be the foundation on which technology solutions are built and delivered to users. Sounds like that was all written by ChatGPT. I'm sure they had a person in their PR department who did that, or you know, maybe they used a little bit of both. Uh, it's hard to get away from the technology. It's good stuff. So all in all, I think this is fabulous. This is the way that these data sites are going to go. This is really interesting to see how this rolls out and if this can save the company and their, their finances, essentially. If you loved the episode, if you enjoyed it, please write us a review. Let us know. Write a comment. Subscribe if you get this on YouTube or follow us on Apple and Spotify, wherever we get your podcasts. I'm thrilled to have you on board and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day.